Alright, hello everybody, this is Scott, I'm back with another video, and this one I will be discussing probably one of the most incorrectly used abilities in the game, and that is Death Shroud. People use Death Shroud as the I'm about to die, so I better run ability. Well, that's actually not the way it's meant to be used, and it's the worst way to use it. Yes, while well, it is going to aid you in, the, in getting away, but um, if you can't outrun them, what are you going to do? You don't get a speed boost from it. It's meant for you to stand there and fight. It's meant to be a like replacement to Lich or Plague Form. It's meant to just give you some extra abilities to aid you. And issues I've come across is people don't know how to use this. So I'm going to quickly show you the best way to actually use Death Shroud. So when you come into Death Shroud, you got one that you got a fear. You have an ability that charges at them and does bleeding and shield damage. You got a blast, and then you have an AoE life transfer. Let me get out of this real quick. Now those four abilities are the only ones that you get, and as you can see, you get them from building up life force. And as you can see, it's not difficult to build up the life force at all. See, I just built up all that, and I was down to like, what, 30%? It's not difficult by any means to actually implement this into a build. The reason people don't do it is because they just don't find it efficient enough. So what I'm going to show you is how to use this thing efficiently. You come in Death Shroud, the first thing you want to do is use Life Blast. Life Blast is going to hit the target for about a thousand damage. Use three of those, and as you can see, the damage is starting to deplete. You're going to want to draw in some extra life force by using the AoE. You're going to want to back up, and then hit the target again. Do three more blasts, and then do the claw. And then pop out, and start fighting. It's also a really good gap closer if you're trying to catch someone. Especially if you're a dagger dagger build. Like this one is. Oh, jeez. And as we can see, I'm just completely demolishing them. And I can't really, like, these don't really fight back. And then I just do the lifesteal. And then, as I said, I go one. And, oops, sorry. The reason you want to use this first is because the more that it's used, the less damage it does. And it starts going down quite, that like, down. I'm already, like, less than a fifth of what it used to be. Use this, gain back some life force, go one, two, three, switch out, and daggers. As you can see, it doesn't do a lot of damage. The AoE, though, is probably the main reason anybody truly uses it. You also want to use the grab if you want to do some quick, uh... The rules should be you go one, two, three, use your grab, and then use your AoE life transfer, and then waste, and get it build it back up. So, hold on.